Hello everyone, in this video I want to show you how you can secure your ASUS router thus securing your home Wi-Fi network to make it virtually impenetrable to hackers attacks. This video will be divided mainly in two parts. In the first part I'm gonna show you how to enable AI protection on your ASUS router and how to configure it. And in the second part I'm gonna show you how to implement also more measures on the router so to make it more secure. And the second part apply to all routers and not only to ASUS routers. So let's start with the AI protection part. Throughout my video, I'll be using my ASUS router RTAX58U, which is the same as the RTAX3000, but the instructions I'm gonna show you apply to all ASUS routers that support AI protection or AI protection pro. My router supports AI protection pro. And by the way, AI protection and AI protection pro are completely free from ASUS, so you don't have to pay any subscription fee. So here I am in the administration page of my ASUS router. The first thing I'm gonna do is enable AI protection. On the left here, click on AI protection. AI protection comes disabled by default as you notice, and this is because it relies on Trend Micro. So the information that you're gonna browse on the internet will transit through Trend Micro so that Trend Micro can protect you from malicious addresses. And this is why, I mean, you need to accept the privacy statement of Trend Micro. So the first thing we're gonna need here to do is to enable AI protection. Press on the button here to toggle it to on. And you notice here that you need to accept the Trend Micro user license agreement. So here, read the agreement if you want, and then click on agree, and the settings will be applied to the router. So now AI protection is enabled. Make sure that everything under AI protection is turned to on. And the scan button here, it will go and scan the router for configurations that might compromise the router's security. So click on it and AI protection will give you a set of recommendations to correct. You notice that everything in green, you can leave it as it is. It is already on the best setting and you have in red and orange. So red is danger and orange is critical. And we need to correct this. So let's go through all these three steps to correct them. The first one is you need to change the default router login, username and password. And here I know that I have this warning because I am using as a login name for the router, the user admin. And this is of course, it's not recommended. And for each step, which is very good about this is that the router will give you a hyperlink to correct it. So here click on the no, so to go to change the router login name and it will open a new tab for you and it will take you directly to the router login name here and you notice that it is admin we need to change it so click on the change next to it and here you need to put the current management password for the router and put a new login name of course do not use a common name so here i'm gonna use in small letters ks tech 1973 and the login name is case sensitive so click on ok after you put the login name and the router will log you out because the login name changed. So click on OK and you have to re-log in to the router. So here I'm going to log in with the new name, KSTEC 1973 and the password. And let's go back to AI protection to continue. Click on scan again and we need to correct the two warnings. So click on the first link and let's disable WPS. So here it is, enable WPS, toggle it to off. And let's go back to the router's AI protection page and let's refresh it and click on scan and we still have one warning so click on it to disable universal plug and play service so disable it select no and then click on apply at the bottom and here it is disabled so let's refresh once again AI protection and you notice that everything is in green and also in AI protection I still want to show you these tabs so if you have like here a number saying that someone is attacking you or something like that, you can go to get the details from these tabs. So for malicious sites blocking, you go to this tab and you're going to see what sites were blocked and for intrusion prevention system also and for infected devices. So if you have an infected device on your home network, AI protection will block it from accessing your home network. But please note that AI protection is not a replacement for the anti-malware and anti-virus software that you need to install on your PCs. So always install an anti-malware, anti-virus software on your PCs on top of the protections I'm showing you here. And that was it for AI protection. Now I'm going to attack the second part, 
which is configuring more settings on the router to make it even more secure. In the second part of this video, I'll be covering all the configurations that are outside AI protection. And the first setting you need to change here is the authentication method. You see that it is WPA2 personal by default. So for the 2.4 GHz band and for the 5 GHz band, and also if you have a tri-band router for the 6 GHz band, you need to make this change. Go to authentication method, click on the drop-down list and choose WPA2, WPA3 personal and do it for all the bands. And before clicking on apply, you need to know that some old devices might not be able to reconnect to your router if you put this setting. So in this case, unfortunately, you should revert back to WPA2 personal. So when you change this setting, you need to click on apply. And this is the warning that I was telling you about, about the old devices. So click on OK and then click on OK again because we have two bands. So the second configuration I wanted to cover is the password for the SSIDs and for your admin login. So never use a password that is the same for the router's admin login page and for your SSIDs, meaning your wireless networks. So now for the admin login, we need to make sure that CAPTCHA is enabled and that the router, if you leave it idle, it will log off like in a reasonable amount of time. So on the left here, scroll until you go to administration click on system and under router account make sure that enable login captcha is set to yes and the second configuration we need to change here is under basic configuration so the auto logout we're gonna put it on 10 instead of 30 so this way if you leave your router unattended for more than 10 minutes it will auto log out and because we are on the administration page here we need also to make sure that the Telnet service is disabled and the SSH service is also disabled. And here for the local access config, the authentication method by default, it is HTTP. I'm going to show you how to add HTTPS, but at the end of this video, because it's a little bit complicated. So for now, click on apply and the router will apply the settings. The next configuration I'm going to show you is a guest network. So if you have friends coming over and they want to use your Wi-Fi network, never give them the password for your main SSID. Always create a guest network for them. So this way they cannot access your intranet. So click on guest networks. And here you have two bands on ASUS routers, 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. So enable one of the guest networks, let's say on the 5 gigahertz band. And here make sure that the authentication method is not open system, so always use WPA2, WPA3 personal if you can and put a password for your guest network and also for the access time do not give unlimited access for your guests so let's put it for instance for two hours so after two hours they need to reconnect and access intranet always make sure that it is disabled so this way your guests cannot access your intranet but they can always access the internet and then click on apply so now the next setting I'm going to show you is a firewall setting. So on the left, scroll until you find firewall. And here, make sure that enable firewall is set to yes. And you have the denial of service protection. So make sure also to put it to yes. It is no by default. And for respond ICMP, which is a ping request, make sure that it is always set to no. And scroll and click on apply. And now the next step is to make sure that your router is always updated with the latest firmware. So on the left here, scroll until you find administration and here click on firmware upgrade. And under auto firmware upgrade, toggle this button to on because it is off by default and it will suggest to you a time to perform the automatic upgrade. I'm okay with the time it is suggesting now. And now I'm going to go to the setting that I left to the end because it's a bit complicated. I'm going to show you how to enable HTTPS login to your router without having any warning on your browser. So here, go to administration and click on system. And under system, you notice here that the local access config is HTTP only. Next to authentication mode, click on the drop down list that says HTTP. And it is better to choose both. Why I am choosing both here? It is because to give you the option to log into the router either with HTTP or with HTTPS. But for security reasons, it's always better to log in with HTTPS. So click on both. 
And here you notice that the router will give you a series of instructions. The first one is the port that you're gonna use with the HTTPS, and it is 8443 by default. I'm gonna leave it on 8443. But notice this here, it is very important. It's telling you that to be able to log into the router, you need to put this address here, which is asusrouter.com column 8443, of course, preceded by HTTPS. And here you see for the download certificate, it's telling you that you need to install the certificate once the router generates a certificate now after you click on apply. So you don't get the warning here that your connection is not secure. I'm going to show you how to do this. The first step here is to click on apply. So now the router will apply the settings. And this address here by default is still HTTP. I'm going to proceed it with HTTPS to show you how the browser will give you a warning here and how we can get rid of this warning. So let's put the address followed by column 8443, hit enter. And you notice that your connection isn't private message is displayed. I'm going to show you how to get rid of this. So click on advanced for now and then click on continue to Asus router. And here let's put the login name. And now we logged in and we need to export the certificate and then import it in our PC so that we don't get that the connection is not private message anymore. So go back to administration and go back to system and you have export here so click on export and then let's save it so now the certificate is saved under the downloads folder let's go to the downloads folder so this is the certificate that we need to extract i have seven zip on my pc i'm gonna right click on it and then click on show more options i'm gonna go to seven zip if you don't have seven zip install it it is a free software and then i'm gonna click on extract here so it will be extracted in the downloads folder. I'm going to double click on it so that to open it and import it. And here click on install certificate. Keep current user chosen and then click on next. And here you need to click on place all certificate in the following store. Click on browse. And then you need to put it on trusted root certificate authorities. And then click on OK. Next. Finish. Mm -hmm and the certificate will be imported. You need to click on yes here so that the certificate will be imported. Click on okay on the successful message here and then click on okay again. Let's close everything and let's go back to our login with HTTPS and you're gonna notice that the connection will be secure now. So let's open a new tab. Let's close this one and let's go here to HTTPS column slash slash router dot aces dot column 8443 hit enter and you notice that our connection is now secure so this is the certificate saying that connection is secure let's log back in and now we are sure that no one can sniff the data that is transiting from the pc to the router through the administration page here if you have any other suggestions or comments or questions on how to secure the asus router please leave them in the comments section below and I will be more than happy to answer all your questions and all your comments. I hope that you liked this video and you found it useful. And I hope that this video will help you in securing your Asus router and maybe other models of routers also. If you like this video, please share it, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I want to thank you all for watching. I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. See you in the next video.